and it was a good place to commiserate and talk to people and communicate and everything like that because I could, you know, the only information I get out there, cell service didn't run until months later. It was very spotty at all. So, you know, it was just a matter of what I could get on the radio and talking to people. So it became a really great sense of, of uh, like I said, of, of community, you know what I mean, where people were able to. And we got open that Friday, uh, got everything cleaned up, but we had, you know, just barely had electricity. We had, uh, we had uh, no food, but uh, people came in. We had, uh, got some ice. We had what liquor we had. We got one keg. I don't remember the, tap and uh, some of the neighbors bought in some food and some stuff and put it out on the bar for everybody and we got the doors open. So it was some, in an upside down world, it was some sense of normalcy. We had power, there was no power there, the street lights were on here, the street lights were off there. You know, these buildings were out over here, one of them was there, so it was just a total mishmash of things. You know, uh, where it was just, you know, uh, I was living literally in there's a lot of other people tell you too. I was fortunate. I wasn't hurt. I wasn't injured. I wasn't sick. But literally, just lived my life in 12-hour increments, wondering how I'm going to get here, how I'm going to get there, how I'm going to be able to do this, how I'm going to be able to do that. When I'm going to take a hot shower again? You know, uh, when am I going to be able to, to get a call? You know, when am I going to be able to get up and make coffee in the morning? You know, just little things uh, like that that you just take for granted. So I mean, you know, it's we're still. As far as here goes, we're still not completely out of the woods. We're still waiting to make changes. It, it, it showed me that uh, in a bad, you know, the cream rises to the top. In a bad situation, good people become great people, and okay people become better people. And that's really, really what I saw about it. You know, and he says talking about the people who were affected and, and the people who weren't affected. The people who weren't affected were, you know, most of them were wonderful. You know, and just almost had this survivor guilt type of thing about it. 